Lake and Riley's death left people on Georgia College and State University's campus with a lot of feelings. Really taken it to heart because they are such a close school to us and a lot of people knew her. What if this was my best friend? It was scary for me and how it could happen to me. Including the police chief. So my heart goes out to them as a community, as a college campus and a police department. This makes you ever vigilant. Things can pivot in a minute and we have to be ready for those things. And they're trying to be even before UGA's tragedy. The way that Georgia College describes it is that they have a toolbox full of the things that they need to keep campus safe. Hardin says they have day and night patrols. We make sure that our officers are out and about, that they're visible, that they're approachable. We're looking at the areas where we have the highest need. That could be in highly populated areas or school sports events. They even use officers from outside police agencies if needed. We have the blue light call boxes across campus that we use for emergency contacts. 70 of these tall boxes will immediately contact police. You just hit the button, it connects the 911 into our office, and then you, know, you just tell us whatever your emergency is and where you're at and what you need. And they also have their Rave Guardian app. It's like a mobile blue light box. Where you can call 911, you can call our police department. Senior Elizabeth Newland's favorite feature on it is the timer. It knows exactly where I'm going and what I'm doing. She says the app allows her friends and family to track her movements in case something happens. A big selling point for me and my parents was the Rave Guardian app and then being able to kind of see if I've made it to a destination that I say I'm walking to. Newland says she's never felt unsafe on campus, but Riley's death gave her perspective. Wow, this can really happen um, on your campus. It's good to know that we have implementations in place to know that like we're going to be safe if something does happen. In Milledgeville, Jessica Cha, 13 WMAC News.